Hi, it's Tristan Knitting Lady. I thought this was a good saying. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Hi, it's me, the box lady. Well, that's the way I feel lately. <laughs> so let's do a positive quotation for today. Today is the 3rd of June and it's about enthusiasm. None are so old as those who have outlived enthusiasm. Henry David Thoreau. Wrinkles, gray hair, and aches and pains aren't the real indicators of old age. A loss of interest in life is. We are engaged in life. We are still young, no matter what our chronological age is. And if we have no enthusiasm for life, we can be as old, we can be old at any age. We admire the 80 year old who is learning to surf. The 60 year old who is going back to school and the 70 year old who joins the Peace Corps. Their willingness to try new things, to meet each new day with curiosity and excitement is an example for all of us whatever our age. And the quotation is, or the affirmation is, I will approach this day with enthusiasm. Also the book that will help you use that tool. Oh, look at this. There's a head of hair above the book. Amazing. And this is just a reminder about the giveaway tomorrow. You still have time. I was playing the last part of this video back and I actually was stuttering and that that will lead to one of my censored songs later on when I talk about what songs have been censored. But before I do that, one thing I'm going to miss and I hope they have this store when I wherever I move is Lytle's L-I-D-L. It's um, originally from Germany, I believe. I know they have all, the, all these. And Lytle's isn't as common as all these. It doesn't have a lot of variety, but I do like it because it's got good meat and it's got good produce. The prices are good. And they sell other things like little, you know, you can get like a sweatshirt there or they sell other little odds and ends. But I found this sauce. I love pasta. I could eat every day. I'm not supposed to, but I do love it. And it's by Lytle's. It's their preferred selection. It's Sicilian. It's pasta sauce with eggplant and cheese. And I just had a little bit of pasta with this on it. This is the bottle. I just needed a small bottle because, you know, I'll be moving in a couple of weeks, so don't want to keep a lot of food around. But it's yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'll finish eating later because I was going to eat. I ate a little bit and I said, oh, got to brush my teeth. Because unfortunately, every show, everything shows up in my teeth. All the years of braces and all the work on my teeth and I still have uneaten teeth. Um, somebody said to me uh, once, you should take better care of your teeth. And I, <laughs> I thought to myself, the money I spend on my teeth every year I'm at the dentist every four months. I just ignored them. <laughs> you just have to. You just have to laugh at people. Why do they say such things? Anyway, back to trivia. That's more fun. What is the only breed of dog that can provide evidence in the United States courtroom? And I bet we know that. It's a bloodhound. 
there was a bloodhound named Nick Carter from Kentucky. His persistence led to the capture and conviction of over 600 criminals. They are the sweetest looking dogs. Of course, I like dogs, I'm a little prejudiced. I like bigger dogs. I know, I'm not a very big person, but I just like big dogs. Today is the birthday of Anderson Cooper. He was born in 1967. And Jefferson Davis was born in 1808-1889. The former president of the Confederacy. And on this day in 1965, astronaut Edward White became the first American to walk in space during the flight of Gemini 4. I didn't realize it was way back in 65. And which well-known actor sometimes plays drums and guitar with the Beach Boys? I'll give you a hint. He was Uncle Jesse on Full House. Yes, John Stamos has played drums and guitar with the Beach Boys. He's considered an honorary member. He appeared in 1988 video of Kokomo. He played conga drums and steel drums. My son called me before. Now, I used to live in New Jersey. In fact, he was born, my son was born in New Jersey and we had a house in Kearney. New Jersey, which is only three miles from Newark. I used to work in Newark. And where I worked in Newark, we weren't too far from the ironbound section of Newark, which is mostly Portuguese. They have some really good restaurants there. And also I believe the, um, I forget the name of the uh, arena they play at, the New Jersey Devils plays down there too. So he's over there, <laughs> and he thought of all that Portuguese food was making me hungry. Anyway, I hope he has a good time. So on this day, now this is getting to the censoring of the song, the stuttering song. In, on this day, 1956, rock and roll was banned in Santa Cruz, California. Of all places, it's so liberal now. They considered it detrimental to the morals and health of the community's youth. Now, we've all heard of censored songs, you know, over the years, different songs have been censored or banned. I remember that song, The Coming to Take Me Away, that was banned for a while. Even Destruction. Um, but I didn't know about this song, Walk Like an Egyptian. You remember Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bangles? I'm not gonna sing it to you. Following 911, a radio network in Texas removed 150 songs from their pay playlist, and that was one of them. Also, it was included, um, it was con censored in by the BBC during the Gulf War. John Lennon's Imagine was censored because of the line, Imagine there is no heaven, it was considered anti-religion. Now here's the stuttering song, My Generation by the Who. In that famous song, Roger Daltrey is the lead singer. It's, it sings and he's stuttering, you know, about my generation, I can't do it. Now, it was considered offensive by the BBC to people who stutter. I stutter sometimes, I do. Um, I think it's getting worse as I get older, when I get nervous. I have to watch myself. Now, Bobby Darren Splish Splash was censored as well. You remember that song, Splish Splash, I'm taking a bath. 
da da da. I don't care. I won't sing. You figure how could a song like that be censored? It was just fun. It was the popular song about a guy getting out of the bath and joining a party. It was censored because he never mentioned getting dressed. <laughs> they don't say who censored him, though. But that's why they banned the song, because it never mentions him getting dressed. Heaven forbid you go to a party in a towel. <laughs> I don't think he really cared if it was banned. It made a lot of money. So that's it. Giveaway is being drawn tomorrow. Make sure you're, if you want to enter, that your subscriptions are public. Because there's still one lady, I'm not mentioning her name. She wants to be in the drawing, but her subscriptions are still not public. One of them did correct it, so that's good. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.